Okay, today we are going to talk about the Marlin Model 60. I see tons of reviews of the uh, Ruger 1022. Ruger 1022 is a great. Uh, it's a it's a great 22. It's it's very accessorizable. I guess is the word. Uh, you can do a lot to it. You know, you can make it look like an AK or an AR. Uh, I've got a buddy that has a 1022 that looks like a Barrett M107. Uh, but we're talking about prepping, which means practicality. Uh, the Marlin Model 60 has been around a long, long time. Uh, it is a tube magazine. That means you've got 14 in this particular rifle. I've got 14 in the magazine and one in the chamber. Uh, you can get 100 round drums for your 1022, but unless you're fighting off, you know, zombie squirrels, I, uh, I don't recommend that as a defensive round, so I really don't see the practicality of it. This is a small game weapon uh, at best. If, you know, it's great for teaching people how to shoot, it's great for for squirrels and rabbits and various other you know possums things of that nature but the 22 caliber round is not a man stopper it's it's not a killer if you want a killer you know buy you a battle rifle uh, buy you a handgun this is not it however if you want a 22 for what it was designed for uh, you can spend 350 bucks on a on a standard 1022 if that's what you'd like to do, and there's nothing wrong with it if you've got the money to throw around. Uh, this rifle in the stainless steel model, which is the expensive model, is I think 180 dollars at Walmart, uh, which is a big price gap for you know for filling a pot with squirrels. This this optic is a Barska optic I got from from Midway. Uh, it's the Barska Plinkster. Uh, it's a forty dollar optic and it's a great optic. It it's you know it's not long range but it's made for it's made for a rimfire rifle anyway. So uh, it does what it needs to do. Uh, I do recommend that everyone have a 22 caliber rifle in your in your uh, your your prepper arsenal, your self sufficiency arsenal, uh, because it is for small game. The ammunition is cheap. Uh, I said it's not a man stopper, but I'd rather plink 22s at them than you know try to throw rocks at them. I suppose. Uh, and if I'm doing that, then you know maybe it will procure me their weapon which is probably more suited than the 22 that I'd be shooting with uh, but I digress uh, ammunition for a 22 caliber rifle is dirt cheap there's a 50 round box it's like a dollar eighty at Walmart uh, you can buy the stuff in bulk it is not reloadable but it doesn't need to be reloadable when you can buy it that cheap right <clears throat> uh, so Go out and buy you a 1022 if that's what you want, but three, three hundred fifty dollars uh, versus 170 or like 150 for the for the blue steel model. Um, so you're talking about 150, 200 dollar price difference, guys. That's a lot of food, even with food prices the way they are today. Uh, 150 dollars will get you a lot of other things that you will need. Uh, so, you know, if you've got the extra money, if your food's where, you, where it needs to be and you feel comfortable with it, if, you know, your water, fire, shelter, uh, all those things are, are, are squared away to your comfort level, then go out and blow the extra $150, $200 on a, on a 1022. Uh, if you're like me and you're working on a budget, you know, I've got lots of guns, but you know the 22 I took the cheaper path on this rifle is reliable uh, as a 22 can get now 22 ammunition is not necessarily always reliable uh, but even a 1022 is going to jam up sometimes um, 
that's just the nature of, of the rimfire cartridge but this this rifle does a fantastic job uh, micro grooved barrel so it's it's a tack driver I've cut matchsticks in half at 40 yards with this thing so um, I never tried to shoot a 1022 that way so I can't make that comparison I'm sure the 1022 is accurate uh, but whether it's more accurate or less accurate I don't know but I'm shooting matchsticks at 40 yards so how much more accurate do you really need and at 170 bucks you know I'll take it um, so I guess I'm done talking about it let's go shoot the thing Marlin Model 60. Uh, accurate firearm. Far cheaper than a Ruger 1022. So if you're on a budget, you may go out and grab you one of these if you don't have a 22 already. Uh, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe for, uh, for more self sufficiency videos. Sorry about that. Thought I heard some zombies out there. <laughs>